Hi, this is Vanessa Joy here with Adorama TV, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about pricing and packaging. If you know anything about me, I will always say I know so many amazing photographers, but just because they're amazing photographers doesn't mean that they're making a living as photographers and putting food on their table. So I want to give you some advice so that you are not a starving artist. First, when you're creating pricing and packaging, you want to play the psychology. So what does that mean? That means that you want to list your highest package first. What that does is let people look at the top of the line, the big, the wow, and in a way almost price shock them so the rest of what happens below your highest package doesn't seem so unobtainable. And then if you have a client that's the kind of client that just wants everything, they'll see that first package and then all the rest below it will be less than what they want and they'll end up going with the first one. Second, when you're creating your packages you can't be lazy. You do have to do the math. So. If you're going to create some rough estimates on what your pricing and packaging should look like, your prices should be three to five times your cost of sales. So let's just say your cost of sales is $100, which obviously if you're a wedding photographer, it's a little bit higher than that. But if your cost of sales, meaning your second photographer, meaning what you pay for post-production and album design, for running your business, things overhead like your online galleries and your website, things like that, if your cost of goods, let's just say is $1,000, then the minimum that you should be charging for your wedding packages are three to five thousand dollars. Again, rough estimate, but make sure that you actually do the math. Don't just create some packages and throw some numbers there and have no idea what your cost of goods are or how much profit you're making. Third, when you are getting all of that money in with your pricing, it seems like you're making a ton of money, but like I just said, you have a huge cost of sales. And on top of that, you have huge taxes to pay because if you are a freelance photographer and you're working for yourself, you're not automatically getting that money taken out of your paycheck. So you have to prep for that for the end of the year, either by saving the money, putting it in another account, forgetting about it until you have to pay your taxes at the end of the year, or you can pay estimated quarterlies, which is what I do. And I pay a little bit every quarter so that it's not such a huge bill at the end of the year. Work with an accountant, definitely work with an accountant for things like that. And I do recommend working with a bookkeeper as well to just keep everything on track. Another thing to think about when you are booking or you're creating the packages that you want to book, create packages that do have everything that the client wants. For me, that would be digital files, full day package, and a wedding album. But don't have every single package have all of those things in it because there won't be any incentive for them to book higher packages over the lower ones. My lower packages, which you're welcome to go see if you go to www.vanessajoy.com forward slash wedding dash collections, you can see collections D and E have almost nothing in it. They have only eight hours of coverage, either no wedding album or a small wedding album, and then neither of them have digital files in it. Only collections A, B, and C have those digital files full day, nice size wedding album, and then as you go higher, you've got parent albums and the engagement session in there. So create packages that are more advantageous as you go higher. And then finally, the best piece of pricing advice I have ever been given, and I wish I knew who gave it to me because I would thank them up and down. Anytime, anytime someone books your highest package, raise your prices because they would have paid you more. It's a really great indication that it's time for you to move up a little bit once you've booked your highest package. And it can be through little baby steps. It can be just $100 here, $250 there. But that method of raising your prices every time someone books your highest package will really help elevate you even if just a little bit here and there. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button there on the bottom here on Adorama TV. I'm Vanessa Joy with Breathe Your Passion and I will see you next time.